fish called Wanda, John Cleese. I just have to tell you, we've seen the new picture and we loved it. Did you? Yeah, it was oh, great. Well, great. it was great because, see, it's a whole new you, isn't it? I mean, you're charming and you're so romantic. How was playing a romantic lead different from Monty Python, aside uh -huh. from the ways it was so completely and utterly different? Well, it's a very interesting question, and I was asked a very similar one by a professor of logic at Oxford only last week. Um, I would have said that uh, playing a romantic lead really involved embracing Jamie Lee Curtis and Ooh. kissing her a lot, whereas uh, being a Monty Python involved being dressed up as a chicken or a very old woman and being dropped 60 feet into a vat of calf's foot jelly. So... <laughs> What is it, though, in, about you British comedians? I mean, you guys are always dressing up like women. Isn't this true? You see, yes. you've got the dress thing. Well, it's simply because we are the most disgusting perverts. <laughs> um, <laughs> any proper right-thinking people would catch the lot of us and nail us to the front of delicatessen. <laughs> well, everyone is curious. What happened to all the other members of Monty Python? Well, most of them are dead now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Terry Gilliam is in a home, but I don't think he'll last long either. No. So you make everybody laugh. I mean, these people watch this story on you and they crack up. What about you? It makes you laugh. Um, I think the, the thought that most of the other Monty Pythons are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Would you come back and see us because you're so funny? Please do. Come back and see us. Yeah.